As the 2024 presidential election approaches, New Hampshire voters show up to the primaries to support their favorite candidate. Some voters, however, are hesitant about the security of the future election. Former President Donald Trump's false accusation of voter fraud in the 2020 presidential election has had lasting effects on Republican voters. The election in 2020 was uh, tampered with. I don't want to use the word stolen, but it was tampered with, definitely. You can't wake up at you know 3 o'clock in the morning after thinking President Trump won the election and then there's all those inconsistencies with shutting down the vote and all of that. It, it's hard to trust after that. Do I think it's important to still vote? Absolutely. I have to hope that the problems have been solved and it's still my right to go to the polls and vote for President Trump. I think the Democrats will do anything to steal the election. I don't think they have any integrity at all. So yeah, if Trump doesn't win, which to be honest with you, I don't believe he will because the Democrats are so corrupt, um, it, it's never gonna change. As long as Trump is not in, in office, as long as he's not running, then it'll be fine and fair. But if it's Donald Trump, that's it. it it's always gonna be an unfair election. Though many Republican voters dispute the legitimacy of the 2020 election, they maintain an emphasis on appearing at the polls, some calling for a change in voting administration. I think it's important to vote. We should get back to the old system. Tuesday in November with a pencil ballot, you show up at the poll and you vote. None of this mail-in ballot. Go back to the old-fashioned way. That's the only way we're going to add integrity to this. Being able to vote two months before the election, uh, there's so much room for fraud. Despite significant evidence disproving widespread voter fraud, President Trump's claims have continued to resonate with passionate supporters four years later. Reporting for BU News Service, I'm Maria Pemberton.